Hello, good day, quarantinos. I hope everyone's staying at home. I just got a package from Loft. Actually, probably a couple days ago. Or when did I get it? Yesterday. Yesterday? Or two days ago? Maybe two days ago. I got this package uh, from Loft. They asked me if I want to try some things on. I said, send me a good amount so I can make a video and show you guys. And they did. So <laughs> let's do this. Um, if you don't know what I'm wearing, then you haven't seen my other video. Which maybe is not coming up yet. Oh yeah, it won't be up by the time you see this. It'll be up pretty, pretty soon. And I hope you guys enjoy it. But this is the look. Alright, let's try this. Let's try on the love stuff. Alright, so this is look number one, you guys. I first decided to try on this green dress. Because I remember the color, but I couldn't remember the style of the dress. And I'm very glad I tried it on. Because it's actually a really cute dress. I feel like... I'm a girl going to church on a Sunday, very wholesome, very cute. I feel like you can um, style this in many, many different ways. Before I show you how I'm going to style this, um, let's talk a little bit about the dress. So the sleeves go around the elbows. Um, I'm wearing a size 24, by the way, you guys. Um, I remember buying a skirt and I remember going to the biggest size, which I think is a 24, if I'm not mistaken. They might also have a 26, but I think I remember going to a 24. Um, I'll link everything below so you guys can go check them out. This has a zipper that goes all the way to the back of your neck. Um, not a dress that might be easy to put on if you're single or if you live by yourself. Um, so keep that in mind. The dress goes around the knees. So it's really, literally a very wholesome dress. Very sweet. Um, easy to wear. I can wear this with sneakers, heels. I can see myself wearing this to like a cute little picnic, a morning brunch or breakfast date or something like that. This would be really cute. And now this is how I would style it. And this is the way I would style it, you guys. I kind of really went for this wholesome look. I really do have like church heels on. <laughs> I just realized. Um, I would probably just wear them with sneakers, you guys, to make them a little bit more everyday wear and a little bit more casual. I decided to wear these pearl little hair clips and a pearl bag that... That would go really well. My girlfriend is currently using a printer. And you can Sorry. hear it. It's okay. It's okay. Um, and then I decided to wear these cute little 50s cat eye sunglasses. I feel like it really felt very 50s. Kind of feels like I'm dating a mobster. And I might be. I might be. Anyways, you guys, this is the way I would style it. Things really cute. Um, the more I look at it, the more I like it. And the more I think that I would change this um, to some white sneakers. But not my big bulky ones. Something really small. Yeah. This is look number one. Okay, so the second dress as well is a size 24. You guys can see it is a floral print dress. My instinct as soon as I saw it um, in person, I was like, oh, I don't like this. Not cute at all. But the moment I put it on... Everything changed from the fire engine attack, you guys. It was super cute. The reason why I think I like it the most is because it has a very sexy slit. It is really long and like like a maxi dress, um, but I feel like, and it's actually very form fitting. But I'm feeling very comfortable. I feel like I don't mind when it's form fitting if it doesn't feel like I can't breathe. A little form fitting doesn't hurt anyone. A little VBO can't hurt anyone, you know. Um, the sleeves are a little bit more of a cap sleeve. It's really comfortable. Your arms will be out. So if you think about getting that, uh, getting this dress, think about that. The neckline is a U neckline and a uh, round neckline. And it's not too high, not too low. It's very modest, very pretty. But the slit is what really sold me. Um, and this is the way that I would style it. And this is the way I would style it, you guys. I have my black little bag um, that I got from Germany from when Sephora collection took me to Germany um, because it feels kind of like a picnic-y bag and it feels very summery, springy. And then these shoes, these square toe Dolce Vita shoes is just very simple, soft details. And these Poppy Lisman sunglasses that I really love. Um, the whole reason why I'm looking over there is because my girlfriend's over there. And as soon as I said, I'm going to go style this, she said, what are you going to wear, your Poppy Lisman sunglasses? Because she knows that I love them. Poppy Lisman, I love you. You foul. Anyways, this is the way I was style you guys. What do you guys think? Um, I think it's really, really cute. Um, so, overall, I would actually wear this dress. 
Even though my instinct was to be like, ill, no, I, I don't like this. I actually really, really enjoy it. The third look, you guys, is kind of styled already on its own. This is the way I saw it on the site. Um, this is a high-low sweater situation, which kind of makes it easy to do a little French tuck with the skirt, which is also floral print. Um, I really like the skirt because it kind of has this like 90s, 2000s vibe, and I'm kind of digging it for the summer and spring. One thing that I do want to notice... Uh, one thing that I do want to point out about the sweater is that it's actually much heavier than it looks. So I would not wear a tank top or anything like that. I would probably just wear a nude bra the way I'm the way I'm doing it right now and kind of just not wear anything else. I can also see myself wearing this with some jeans um, for a lazy day of running errands or anything like that. Same situation with the skirt. Um, just because it can be a little casual, the material just makes it a little bit more fancier. Um, but also very casual look let's talk about the skirt a little bit more the skirt has a stretch band everything i'm wearing you guys by the way if unless i change the sizing here on the screen should be a 24 on top and then a 24 on bottom that's usually what i go for with loft and um yeah this is how i would style it and this is how I would style it, you guys. I actually just, this is the way I saw it on the side. So when I link the top and the skirt, you're going to see that this is the way they styled it. I kind of liked it. Um, so I went for it, a little French tuck. But look at it on, you know, not being tucked in. I just like how dramatic it is. Keep in mind that this... Um, Sweater is very heavy, but I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, so the way I decided to style it, it was by bringing a little bit more of texture to it. So I saw this little metallic sparkly headband that I got from ASOS, I believe. Um, and then I brought this little bag, which is from Mod Cloth. Um, and my little loaf of Randall sandals that I love. I think this is very casual cute outfit i don't know if it's exactly my style but this is the what just came to me when i saw this look like this is the way i wanted to style it um but yeah let me know what you guys think about the styling as well and let's move on to the next look we're on to the next look and this one is actually pjs i saw that they had a lot of fun pjs on uh, we're actually not a lot i think they had a couple and then different color options i have these shorts um i am a hot sleeper like i'm always hot even when i have the ac i literally sleep with my window blasting open um because i'm always hot but anyways let's talk about the pjs they're super stretchy and comfy i have a 24 26 um i wanted to make sure that i wasn't sleeping uncomfortably when um or having anything that was uncomfortable when i was sleeping so i made sure that i had something you know cute like this anyways i always have to make sure that my pjs are cute because when i walk this little one that little one right there hey manolo yes you um, when I wake up in the morning, I have to go walk him as soon as I wake up. So I always want to make sure that my pages are really cute. And this is actually something that I wouldn't be embarrassed of walking outside with. I just put on my slippers and go out and walk him. I have no shame. But this is the look. Very stretchy. The, the little bow situation right here, you guys, you can tighten it up and put it as big, as loose or as, as tight as you want. The shirt has buttons. Um, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty decent length. I like it. It's really comfortable. Let me know what you guys think about these features because these are actually really cute. All right, you guys. The next look is a swimsuit look. And I actually like it a lot. It has this very 50s vibe. I feel like everything's been kind of 50s, huh? Yeah. has this, like, 50s housewife vibe, which, like, now feels fresh and, like, fun um, if you're into that look. Anyway, so the swimsuit is a size 24 in the top and the bottom. Um, the top is... As tight as it can be but i don't feel as supported i feel like i would probably size down maybe or not maybe just try and make this a little bit tighter however i do like the look overall it seems like a very comfortable swimsuit um i don't feel it does have little paddings in it but you can definitely pull it out if you like i'm pretty sure that they have a little place that you can pull it out from let me see if I can find it. So the top part of the swimsuit does have a little hole right here in the corner, the top corner, um, almost right under the armpits that you can just pull out the little cups. I'm keeping the little cups for now. Um, Sorry. 
<laughs> I'm keeping all the little cups for now. But yeah, I really, really like it. I think it's really cute. Um, I like the little tie situation. This is fake. It's not like you tie it in the front. Um, you tie it around your neck and then you tie it around your back. So keep that in mind. If you have a really big, heavy boobs, this might not be the swimsuit for you. Um, kind of wish the swimsuit in the bottom piece was a little bit more high-waisted. Aside from that, I think it's a really fun swimsuit. Um, let me know what you guys think. On to the next and final look. Last but most definitely not least is this really cute one-piece swimsuit from Loft. Um, again, size 24, you guys. I really, really enjoy this color. I think it's so pretty. Actually matches my little chairs here. I didn't want to show you everything because it's a pretty mess over there. But anyways, it has a belt situation, you guys, around here that you can adjust yourself. Um, and it's a one-piece. I don't know. Can I adjust the tax, uh, the straps? Let me find it's hitting me pretty good, but you can actually adjust if you need them to be a little bit higher or a little bit looser according to, you know, your body shape and height. I definitely want to have like a 50s inspired swimsuit shoot with this swimsuit. Um, I'm very excited. I do have a few uh, trips planned. Hopefully they happen in summer. Hopefully we've we've worked hard enough to get rid of the um, coronavirus and we can all continue with our lives. But... What do you guys think? I actually really like this. Again, this does have some type of padding in the swimsuit. You can pull it out if you like. I'm keeping it on so you guys can see how it looks on by its um with it originally. And then later on, if I shoot it on Instagram, make sure you're following me there. Um, which will be linked down below. So you guys can see how I style it and how I wear it at the beach or the pool, wherever it is that I go. But this is it. This is the last one from Loft. And that's a wrap for this loft try on, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I feel like we went on a, a roller coaster of emotions with everything. There were moments where I thought this was going to be a complete fail, and it was not. So I'm glad I actually liked it because I think I'm going to keep most of these things. Shout out to Loft for sending all of these things over for me to try on for you guys. Um, don't forget to leave a nice comment and let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, peace from this collection, um, or from this haul, and I'll see you in the next one.